snack. I've been freed. No more overbearing father turned violent alcoholic. No more hiding my bruises and cuts. No more pills and needles. No more getting laughed at and kicked around. They'll never laugh at me again. Day By day, my body withers away. By night, my mind explores forbidden worlds of power and knowledge, guided by beings of pure darkness. I've been trusted with secret knowledge of the demon's seal. I have learned the correct con conjuring sign, drawing the inverted star along the rocks arranged in five. First at the top left point, then down. I will lure them into the woods. I will show them my power. Oh, don't do that. Sir. Sir, why am I bleeding? Well, I sent all my, like, additional paperwork off to my new surgeon for my gallbladder so they could fill it out and send it to my work and then my boss is gonna freak out when she sees it <gasps> what is that that i have another condition that's gonna make me take time off i haven't told her yet because i wanted the paperwork to get filled out first before i was like yo bitch gotta go back into surgery for something unrelated but just as painful Oh, it's a purple baby crawling up there. All right. She guards the door to the underground purgatory. I hath not seen her. Children fear her. Day one of our paranormal investigation into this old Snake Meadow Hill church. We've got three cameras. Oh, and good news. Now that Regime will put that emote on. So the um, Octo Love emote just got copyright protection. Yay, and it's in the middle of a trademarking. Yay, so it will also be trademarked. Yeah, so it just got copyright registration. Yay, so copyright registration and Octolove just finished, finalized. Um, and yeah, we're waiting for um, a trademark on it. Anyway, I'm excited. I just, my lawyer finally emailed me this morning because I was like, yo, what's going on with stuff? So, yeah. Octolove C. Right now. And soon it will be CR. Yeah. Um, Alright. We've got three cameras, a box of tapes, and enough beer and beef jerky to last us a week. Alright, on our way in, we asked some of the locals about the church. It was mostly the stories we had heard before. Evil spirits dragging children into the cornfield and secret tunnels under the chapel. But there was this spindly lady game that we hadn't heard of yet. Apparently it has to do with summoning the spirit of a woman who used to take care of the orphans back in the 50s. There is even an old rhyme they told us. Walk the church from room to room and maybe you'll see her. She will move when you do, but never try to trick her. Yeah, I want all your bezos. Give me your prime gaming. Don't let that prime gaming go to waste. I want it. I want it. The master desires it. Master needs it. Tanda wants a game giveaway. Can I go in here? Forgive me, Father, for I have sinned. It has been uh, forty plus years. I tried to save a girl from evil, but my fear overcame me. No, I did good. I my back on the ministry and broke my vows to God. A year later, the girl reached out to me again. But in the end, I couldn't save her. I left her to die. I am sorry for me and my past sins. Thou hast said will. Here is my penance. Treat the child to me. Perform the set of the attrition. And thou shalt have the peace thou seekest. Give thanks to the Lord for his good. For his mercy and yours forever. Okay, I don't really want to bring you the child. Night one. We still haven't found a way into the basement, but we found something just as cool. A secret passage in the old confession booth leading to this hallway. Henry's going into town to buy a crowbar. We'll see if we can get these boards off and some of these of some of these doors. 
that's not even the best part. We caught on E. We caught on E V P. You can't hear it on tape very well, but to us, it kind of sounded like laughing. Thank God we brought the nice mic. We'll review it on the sound gear once we get back to town. Okay, so we need to try and find a crowbar for this. 